Where is this? Well, I'm hoping there were mountains between wherever they are in India, because that's where this takes place. <laughs> I don't know if geography is correct or not. But Pakistan? Or OK. I don't, first of all, where they end up is not a, a real place anyway. Right. I was relieved. It's got to be mountain passes with bandits. Get hands like a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, what was the line? You've got hands like a sailor. Well, guess where that came from? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't remember? No. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Let me get this straight. Any sailor references? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> See, this is such good foreshadowing. <laughs> I remember some the fans, crazy fans, didn't understand why Gabrielle would turn her back to get dressed in front of Zena. And um, I never thought about that, because <laughs> certainly on television, we weren't going to see anything. Yeah, although you might have been able to shoot it from here That's right. Here up. <laughs> Could have easily. <laughs> Some discreet angles. Some discreet angles. Mm hmm Forgot this was in here. You know? Back with the bad wig. Yeah. <laughs> She'd been having these visions all season, right? She had. I just forgot it was in this. You always say that we control our own destiny, right? Right. What was that? Good question. What was that? Did you hear anything? <laughs> Have to get Bernie Joyce to tell us what was supposed to be there. Yeah, I think a little more noise than whatever was heard. Here, here we go. Here was my question. She sees the hole, screaming for Gabrielle. Why does she make the assumption she had to be down there rather than any place else in the cave? Because Gabrielle has a habit of falling down holes. Okay. So it's the logical place. Okay. I just thought. I, I you know. Watching it, if Gabrielle went, see, no, I'm right here. <laughs> End of episode. And that's right. A land in turmoil cried out for a hero. So, Chris, what other episodes this season did you write? Because I can't remember. Fourth season. Uh, you did Debbie, which came after this. Right. And, geez, Rob, they all run together for me. I'm not kidding. Fourth season. Fourth season. We opened, what, Family Affair, right? Well, yeah. So, well, Sin Trades and Family Affair. Right. I'm just thinking for me. Right. <laughs> of so. Um, Convert. Convert. That was one of them. Were you surprised to find that Najara is the star of Cold Cases? Was I ever. <laughs> My God. And I went back and looked at Convert. She looks exactly the same. Yep. And she acts exactly the same. Yep, but it worked there. <laughs> so there's hope for Alex and Bob. <laughs> the poor woman, woman who carved all these great blue statues oh. um, later died of cancer. It was very, very sad. Oh, my gosh. As a young woman? Mm. Not particularly, mid 50s. That's a lot of carving. She carved from morning till, for like six years on her Zena, she carved everything. Wow. But that's not stone. What is that material? Uh, that's all uh, styrofoam. Oh. Technically, I guess you call it uh, a shifting matter. You're saying your mind healed Zena's leg? Oh, no, no, not just my mind. You see, there's breathing and meditation. So what, would he be a good guy, a bad guy, or oh, a yeah. god? What would you consider him? To me, he's almost like what Najara used to talk about, the jinn, you know? Right. He's kind of that. He's a man who's amassed a lot of spiritual power that he's using for evil. Remember we used to talk about he wanted to get Gabrielle's goodness to break out of that place he was in and conquer the world. He wanted to get out into the world again. You Thanks for that? reminding me of that. Now that you say it, yes. Ah. It, it just never made it into the... I don't think it even made it into the script. But we kicked that around. I'll tell you one thing. This episode, Gabrielle has never looked more beautiful than in this episode. Ever. You know, I kind of went out of my way to make her look good in this. As bad as Zena gets to looking, yeah. <laughs> she looks that good. No lama. Well, yeah, he's a bit odd. That doesn't mean you can't learn something from him. 
I'm gonna ask him to teach me this breathing techniques. Will you come with me? Chris, why did you write this hot tub scene? You know? He twisted my arm. <laughs> Ah, uh, somehow this seemed right to put him in a hot tub for this, but... Oh, yeah, really, it yeah. fit in with the episode. It wasn't gratuitous. <laughs> the, the greens man who put all of these greens together, he is a Tai Chi instructor in New Zealand. So he took it upon himself to teach Lucy the proper Tai Chi. Wow. And we, ha we had a yoga instructor on the set the whole time to help with this and to help get the, um, the kinks out of poor... Um, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> I know, the, the whole picture is just lovely. I mean, nice, nice work. You know, I wish I could take credit for any of it, but it was um, Mr. Gillies and team and the scenic artist who painted the, uh, and, uh, and Maxfield Parish for providing an inspiration once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> because she has powerful help. You know, it's always fun with this amount of distance to watch an episode you direct because it, it takes about two years to recover from the hope and expectation and the reality of what you actually ended up walked away with so you can enjoy it again. Why was this scene in the story again? This is the decision of hers to leave Gabrielle. She's, remember Aiden said, as right. you get worse, you'll bleed. Well, and now I remember. And mercy. Now I remember. Ugh. Man, those blood drops were a nightmare. <laughs> I remember trying to work with the effects guys as to what they look like, and they look like little sperms swimming <laughs> down. But I... <laughs> I don't remember that. I didn't remember it either. Isn't that <laughs> weird? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised it got on television. Every Wait. time they show me these, I don't know, I can't believe we got, got away, away with it. <laughs> it. Wasn't even got away with it. See that left eye, or her right eye? Uh, those pupils never lined up right. It drove me crazy. They kept floating around in her head. Poor birdie. <laughs> <laughs> The good news is we don't really see it happen. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Makes me laugh. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> no real animals were hurt during the That's filming of right. this. <laughs> I always love that image. It makes me howl. <laughs> and I think Zeta loved doing it. Yeah. a framed picture of that. <laughs> there was an outtake coming up here that, uh, I'll wait a minute, that my wife would not let me print. Wow. And the entire crew got a free show. Whoa! And, uh... Aiden's gone, unfortunately. Because Gabrielle's uh, clothes landed somewhere else. Because she wasn't in her garb. And... And I fought him! in this sequence as we were shooting it with a, a Renee on pasties in a bikini top or something, but uh, Lucy just walks away. <laughs> leaves, <laughs> leaves Renee standing there. <laughs> scaring you to get a rise out of Gabrielle. You attacked him on purpose? I knew her no matter how far under you were, Ren he never uh, In fact, when that happened, Renee just as well um, sh kind of shrieked and dove her stuff and the entire crew just burst out laughing hysterically. <laughs> and I said, Renee, can I print that for the gag reel? And uh, we'll blur everything. My wife said, you cannot print that on the gag reel. I went, okay. <laughs> I sometimes talk about your darkness like it's some sort of disease. But without it, neither one of us would be here. It's kind of ironic. Yeah. Do I really have hands like a sailor? 